A very good afternoon and welcome to Sports Singapore's live coverage of the 2021 National School Games. This is the B Division Boys North Zone 3v3 final. It's between Catholic High and Edgefield Secondary. Catholic High in the green tops. The ones who are serving now, this is Edgefield Secondary. Join me as my co commentator is National Team Singapore's National Volleyballer. Rachel Lau. Rachel, welcome to the National School Games once again. What an honour it is. Let me just give you a rundown of the players. Yes. So for Cat High, we have number 7, Joshua Lim. Number 10, Jared Hoy. Number 12, Caleb Hoy. And number 4, Good. Joe Ken. And for Edgeview, we have number 10, Javier Chan, number 9, David Ng, and number 6, Malcolm Wong, and last but not least, number 4, Zachary T. So now, Edgeview is going to serve with Javier. Edgeview are in the slight bluish tops. Edgefield won the point. <laughs> Edgefield won that point. Mm. So it's 2 all. I think they were calling for a touch out, but they didn't get it. Yep. Great oh. covering. He's the player who is about to serve. That was a block. I believe by... Was it by Joshua? I think so. Because I was uh, looking somewhere else. Sorry. <laughs> Quick timeout, I think. Yeah. It's within five four... minutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And the... but that's the one big difference about the men's volleyball and women's volleyball is the number of rallies. Women tend to have a little bit more rallies. Nice one by Malcolm. Yep. Smart play right there. Malcolm Bong. So now Zachary serves for HU. Oh. It's all. <laughs> That's a very risky judgment call there yeah. by Bob. Number Joshua. seven, yeah. Joshua and Joe Ken. Oh, this one is definitely out. Well, not every day is a Sunday, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> so Caleb goes to serve for Cat High. Cheering, you are hearing yeah. is only from their teammates, not from school supporters, not from family, not from the public. It's only their fellow teammates due to the COVID 19 restrictions this year. 
Oh. 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 Sticky shot by Spetsas. Caleb of Kephai. Malcolm just couldn't get his hand to that in time. Yeah, just a little bit too late. Mm -hmm. Good block there by the number 12. Yeah. Caleb, no. It's already 3 point margin, 8 5. Yep. Try serving. Whoa. Oh. Mistake yes. by Malcolm. That's right. Second or third mistake in the first set. They're trying to settle their nerves, calm down in the first set. First sub team, B Boys North Zone final. Whoa! Welcome again. Woo! That was a good fight. Good. Oh, great toss at the end. The Malcolm won. He redeemed himself with that one point. Yep. Here goes Malcolm. A tip shot in ball. Smart play. So this I think is the second time scoring on that ball. That's right, they're still in it. Let's see if they continue to win the Another two more points. Yeah, Zachary to serve for HU. Oh, Joken. Oh dear, miscommunication. So it's 11 7. First set going to Catholic High School. Um, Rachel, a few words about CHS. Performance in the in this first set. Well, Cat High has a lot of height, so they need to utilize it. But they've been doing quite well with their attacks, so they've been there's been a variety. They haven't been just hitting hard; they've been hitting it into places as well. All right, yeah. we'll see what both teams are capable of. This is the B Boys uh, North Zone final between C Catholic High School and Edgefield Secondary. We'll be back with the second set in this first sub team in two minutes. Welcome back to the second set. First set team, Hfield Secondary, about to serve. Here are the boys in blue. Yeah, Javen to serve. Good block there by the number four. Zachary. Tip shot by Malcolm. Hfield. Scoring the first point. I think it was a tip out. Joker. Oh! Nope. Effort by Malcolm, who wanted to chase it down. 1-1. One, one. the net so two one to CHS great save oh no just a little bit too much power behind that save 
but good effort nonetheless. I saw that Caleb from Catholic High School, he was like using his finger at the net. I'm not sure what he was. Oh, I didn't see it. I he, was, it. he was like pointing his finger to the net. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it was a move or. Uh, I think Malcolm wanted to go over the block. Expectedly, they called a timeout uh, because Hfield lost the first set, 7-11. I think they were the ones who called for the this early timeout. What do you reckon the coach is uh, telling this group of boys? I guess it's to relax because after all, Cat High is well known for volleyball. So I guess Hfielders are under a lot of pressure. So the coach is telling them to relax, enjoy the game. I mean, that's what I would say about was the coach. Yes. Yeah. CHS, so. By Joshua. Oh, oh, oh. 5 1. Yes. I think Malcolm had a bad fall. He's holding his back. Great save. Malcolm had a touch to it, but uh, his back might be hurt, but uh, the, the coaches are not doing anything about it. So maybe it's not that serious at the moment. Six. Welcome. Welcome. And again, he, but this time, oh, I thought he scored. Oh. It won. Too many this, mistakes. This is a. For the edge fielders. That's right. Too much power yeah. uh, in their spikes. That's uh, that's costing them the game. Yeah. The issue does really need a point here. Two nine. And get the point. Mm -hmm. They heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Zachary to serve. See if their momentum can continue. A few more points. Paper cell. Token. Smart play. He just tipped it to the side of the block. This is match. This is match point for Catholic High School. First team. Within 15 minutes. Malcolm, oh. uh, that was it. Denied. So, CHS winning the first set 11 7. And they, this set, they really, it was a convincing win 11 yeah. 3. Uh, a few words about Catholic High School's uh, performance in the first team. Uh, they've been utilizing the opportunities very well. Yep. And they've been having a lot of stable serves. And who do you reckon was a. Was there a player that was slightly, you know, more outstanding than the rest? Mm. Okay, I would say Joe Ken was very outstanding, but it's because of his height. So you just, when you look at the net, you just see him there. That's all you can see, Joe Ken and his long hands. That's right, number 14. Yeah, yeah number 14. Alright, so Catholic High School 
drawing first blood, winning the first sub team by two games to nil. We'll be back in three minutes for the second sub teams. This is the battle for the championship for the final between Catholic High School and H2 Secondary in the B Division Boys 3v3 North Zone Finals. See you in three.
You're watching Sports Savers live coverage of the 2021 National School Games. This is B Division Boys North Zone 3v3 final. The battle is between Catholic High versus Ayfield Secondary School. It was uh, Catholic High which won the first sub team by winning it 2 0. Two straight sets 11 7, 11 3. Joining me, Raj Kumar, together with my co commentator, is National Team Singapore's National Volleyballer. Rachel Lau. Hi, everybody. Rachel, you want to do the honours and yeah. give us a, a rundown. Who are the players on the court? Okay, so right now, Cat High is going to serve. Number 9, Peter Wong. We also have number 4, Reagan Tan. Number 8, Hayden Tan. And number 11, Glendon Go. And now, Ed Studers. Who just scored the first point? Yep, they did. Yep, so we have number 3, Ho Cheng Yi. Number 7, Sha Suan. Number one, Ming Jun, and number two, Xavier. So now Xavier goes to serve. Ooh, number nine, seems like, yeah. seems like a giant in the squad there yeah, for Catholic did. High School. Number eight, Hayden, serving the far. Oh, great pick up. Counted, yes, it was counted. Yeah. So just now, Peter did a tip shot for H fielders and got the point. So now Xavier did the same and got a tip shot and got the point. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the favor. I think they have to replay the point oh, I because think... oh, somebody served wrongly. They are umpires conferring. So the point is given to Catholic High School. Two all. Oh. So each field must have. Uh... I think it was the wrong server. Yeah, most probably it was that. Two from Edgefield, yeah. Xavier, he saw the giant standing in front of him. <laughs> he decided to go soft on the right. shot. training for more than a year for this so yeah. and they probably come up against players who are even stronger mm -hmm. uh, than our friend number nine Peter Wong yeah. nice soft shot they kept it in play oh. Close down. so these players they've been trained enough to take the to stand the impact that's why I'm trying to see. So it's even Stevens in the first set of yeah. the second sub team. It's feel green on screen right now in the slightly bluish, bluish tops. Okay, Xavier to serve for H field. Who have to win this sub team? Mm -hmm. Plus Peter. <laughs> big jump, big spy. <laughs> no way of returning. But that was a great setup by Glendon. Now Hayden to serve for Cat High Boys. A chase by Cheng Yi. Tips it over. Oh. I think that's 
it's in. Yep, it is. <laughs> we got the a shot. The ball. <laughs> yeah. Just hope Peter doesn't look in our direction at all. <laughs> Two point game. Mm -hmm. CHS in the lead. A good one, but good blocking there. Yep. Good pressure. Glendon go the timely block and a timeout. Called by one of the teams. Mm -hmm. So H field uh, three points down. What's your brief thoughts on this second team? Uh, they, we are watching Edgefield this afternoon. Um, first of all, they are very courageous. <laughs> they stood in the way of Peter Wong's heavy spikes. Yeah, I think two times yeah. already yeah. Peter has had those. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't come up, but it's alright. We'll get there one day. Yep. As long as they don't back down, they should be fine. I'm trailing by three. Still at body's game. Hayden to serve for that high. Some uh, checking of server. Uh, oh, wrong server. Yeah, so okay. Min Jun is to serve now. Well, it's good that they clarified it before another point awarded against that. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> take off Xavier. Yeah. 8 5. I mean, you gotta put your hands really tight when you block this kind of ball, so now you'll get injured very yep. easily. to serve for Cat High. Point for the H-fielders. Yep. Ming Jun, touch out. <laughs> it's it's hey? their teammates. The teammates yeah. from outside who are shouting and telling them, you got your rotation wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. it's good that their teammates on the outside are also keeping track. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that would have cost them one unnecessary point. Yeah. CHS reaching set point. Peter Wong to serve. Cheng Yi. Here goes Xavier. Alright, chance ball. Oh, oh, there was a foul. Oh, lifting. Sorry, foul on CHS. Yep. They're now within two. And a timeout has been called. As we take a look at the, the boys in green. So they lead by two. Rachel, do yep. you, you reckon they can still hold on to go in? Mid in well, this. as you said, it's anyone's game. We never know what happened, but they have very good options. Peter is a heavy spiker, Hayden as well. Yep. Yeah. There's a very good chance that they might come out on top because with this set. If I'm not mistaken, Peter will still continue to serve. Yeah. Should be. Yes. So as long as he's at the back, <laughs> the boys in green are safe for yeah. a few moments. They're going to make sure that Peter doesn't get the ball. Yeah. Is he serving? No. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, so it's in back to HP, okay. Soft shot. Ching Yi. Great pick up, though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and seven. Heavy, heavy blow. Yeah, seven. Six point for CHS. But kudos to Ming Jun, though. I think he got three of those. He might be bruised up after yep, this. Yep. Let's see the 
each fielders can find equalize. There? Yeah. Agent serves. Okay. That's oh, it's out ball. So it's 11-8 to Catholic High School. They're continuing the momentum from the first sub team, mm -hmm. uh, which won 2 0. And now in the second sub team, they've won the first set 11-8. Uh, uh, your thoughts? Well, I think the age does have to clean up a little bit on their service rotation. I, even if you don't lose the point because you change the service last minute, it still messes with your mentality. That's right. So, yeah. so you got to be more ready. Yeah, that's what I would say. But right. they're not doing too bad a job. Yep. Yeah. So let everybody take a breather for the next yeah. uh, 90 seconds. We'll be back shortly. So we are back to the second set in the second sub team. Mm -hmm. Chinese serving. Catholic High versus Edgefield Secondary. This is the B Boys North Zone Final. Oh, that was a shot to the shoulder. Oh, so close to the face. Region is really holding its ground. That's right. Trying not to let Peter get his spikes in. Edgefielders can rest easy for this one. <laughs> That one moment when he served. <laughs> and they won the point. Great shot by Zelia. So you see, when they, when he's at back, <laughs> they can somehow sneak in a point. Yeah. <laughs> so the H fielders lost mm -hmm. 11 in the first set. Yep. Both teams, I believe, uh, were victorious during the preliminary rounds. Mm. Yeah, if, if I'm not wrong, they didn't drop a single match. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you saw that opener. Yeah, that was by number 11, Glenda Go of Cat High. And for that far corner. Hayden is to serve for Cat High. To me. It didn't go over. Nope. It's a uh, Ming Jun. Yeah, Ming Ming Jun. Ming Jun. Hayden serves again. Three ball over. Okay. Oh, it was out. This time Peter was a bit off target. Yep. For that split second when he's the air, when he's in the air, you can feel like everybody yeah. freeze. Oh, yeah, stop motion. <laughs> yeah. It's slow motion, I mean. Alright, Min Jun to serve. Looks like they had a little bit of a miscommunication to serve again. So that's what I was saying just now. Sometimes it just messes with your mind game. Yes. Yeah. MJ. Good block by Peter Wong at the net. CHS up by three. 
Glendon to serve. Here's a chance ball. And it goes to Peter, without a doubt. But you have to give credit to the setter, Glendon. He's setting up really nice balls for Peter to hit. Mm. Number two. Yep. Maybe I said that was on me. Yep. It's my fault. Goes to Xavier. Checking their service. Okay. Number three, Cheng Yi to serve. Oh. Oh, great run. Got it up. Nice one. Oh, no. Good try by yeah, Hayden. Hayden. Yeah, he wanted to go far, but just a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. Which fielders are still in it. They have to win this one, even though it's all over. <laughs> no one was near that ball. Eight, four. Three more points. And CHS are the champions. Peter Wong to serve. Shot by Xavier went off the hands of Peter. Oh dear, that is the worst feeling in the world mm. when you know you got the block, but it goes out. Hidden to serve for Cat High. Okay. Yeah, there was a double contact by Brendan. So now Ming Jun to serve for the H readers. Peter Wong. Yep. Oh, they got it up. Great chase, great chase. And they kept it. They kept the ball. Oh, smart play by Glendon. He saw the open spot and he got it over. This is match point and the championship point for Catholic High School to be crowned B Division Boys North Zone Champions. them that easily. That's right. CHS have to wait. Still no timeouts call. Mm -hmm. Landon goes to Peter. <gasps> oh, he was there. They did it. And they won it. <laughs> so Catholic High School, uh, the B Division boys, North Zone champions, they won the second sub-team 11-8, 11-7. In the first sub-team, uh, they won 11-7, 11-3. So it's already 2-0 um, and they are the champion for 2021. Congratulations to Catholic High School. Uh, your thoughts on CHS uh, domination this afternoon? <laughs> well. They had, I mean, they are a team with a lot of tall players, 
and they made sure they made use of that height in mm -hmm. terms of blocking, in terms of spiking. Yeah, so I guess that's what made them different from edge shooters. So that's what they edged out edge shooters <laughs> on. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but edge shooters really tried their best. Yeah, they knew coming into this finals that they'll be up against a uh, powerhouse in the uh, sport. That's right. Yeah. Well, we even though the outcome is already uh, confirmed mm -hmm. that uh, you know Catholic High School are the champions, we will still play the the third sub team. Yes. You know, as uh, just to see whether they go back home three 0 or whether two one. Yeah. So join us again in about five minutes from now for the third sub team in this B Boys Division North Zone Final.
Welcome back to our coverage of the B-Boys. 3v3 North Zone Volleyball Final between Catholic High School and Edgefield Secondary. Catholic High are already the champions because they won the first two subsets. So this one is just this third sub teams clash. It's uh, almost like a formality, but it's still. Let's see whether Edgefield can still win one sub team. Joining me is Team Singapore. National volleyballer Rachel Lau, uh, would you like to do the honors of uh, the players on the court? Yeah, sure. So just now you just saw a major cue, and it was by Kevin Cole of Cat High. So on the same side, we have Cat High, Lorna Teng, number two, Wang, Wong Wenhui, number three, and Anthony Julia, number six. For the age readers, we have number 14, Yongxuan, number 12, Dylan Tay, number five, Li Ming, who is about to serve, and number 11, Kaden To. in the lead. Rarely. It's a bit of a change in their color of their jerseys as well. Yeah. That's why I see it I mean. Second sub <laughs> against Peter Wong. Well, great chase by Aiden To. Steven Steven, six all. This one is all about pride. <laughs> so pride. Just see whether they make a clean sweep 3-0. Mm -hmm. Or you go down 2-1. Gotta run for that ball. Over the net. Da. Nice. I told you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Leaming. Maybe Leaming could have been in the, either the first <laughs> sub team or even the second sub team. Just saying. I'm not the coach, <laughs> but uh, based on what I've seen in the. Oh, D, another oh, boy. Another, another boy. Yeah. By the number five. So maybe it's a, 
a little too late. I mean, <laughs> a little too late. Yeah, mm. he could have possibly featured in the first two sub teams. So, but it is a, a timeout. So now we see uh, CHS. Yeah. They they've been doing consistently well. Uh, their first two teams won straight sets. So in this third sub team, let's see. Well, Liming is serving for Edge Rudas, and the serve goes long. Rona is saving is serving now for Cat High. Cat High with a substitution. Mm -hmm. Anthony is substituting for number three Wen Hui. I think this is a good time for Wunhui to rest because he was blocked, denied twice. Yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> they need an answer to Li Ming. Yep. Who is there? Oh. He almost got the block. He's on the ball now. Yep. Li Ming is setting. Oh, sorry. There, and he's one. See? He has been deep. Oh, what's he asking? Oh, rotation. Uh, yeah. rotation. Apologies, just now I said Li Ming was setting. I meant to say Anthony from Cat High was setting. And it is set point for HQ Secondary. So can they win their first set of this fixture? Oh. Great up. And Kaden goes to Li Ming again. Whoa. And and good job there by yeah. the edge fielders finally winning the first set this afternoon mm -hmm. yeah. in the finals. And it's been all, most of the work that was done by edge field secondary was by the number five. Yeah, Li Ming. Li Ming. And we'll see whether he can continue his momentum mm -hmm. uh, when we return in uh, less than two minutes. Yeah. So, doing the commentary this afternoon together is uh, Rachel Lau, eight years in the national volleyball squad, uh, Singapore's national team. You also compete in the A division, the B division, and C division. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to cut back to the action, but having spent several years, so which was your favorite? Well, um, I would say. Or the one that was that had the most impact in the three divisions that you competed. I think it was the B division. I would say it was the B division. Yeah, because we. We're never a strong team to begin with, so... Which school was this? Jurong Secondary. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to all... <laughs> to all my teammates, my ex-teammates. And they're all known yeah. as what? The uh, what? No, we just call ourselves the Jurong, Jurong people. <laughs> we don't have a nickname. The Jurong people. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you serious? No, we, we really don't have a nickname. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like Jurong West, I think they are known as the Westerians. Yes, oh, yes, oh yes. I, I don't know what we're called, yeah. but we never <laughs> ever address ourselves with nicknames. Don't, 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 don't <laughs> yeah. By the way, that's by Rachel Lau only, so don't, <laughs> don't quote me. I didn't say Jurong people. <laughs> On court right now is Catholic High versus Edgefield. Uh, this is the second set in the third sub team. Yeah, Li Ming is serving for the Edgefielders. He's a heavy hitter, so you should look out for him. Oh, and the stuff goes long. I also understand you're a fan of the Thai 
national team? Oh yeah, yes I am. Because? Well, they are Asians to begin with yes. and they don't have the height that the Americans or other... The Brazilians. Uh, yeah, the kind of team. So to see them being able to compete at the international level with such skill, yeah, it's definitely uh, a team to look up to that we can follow from. Yeah. Okay. On court right now, edge fielders. Dylan with the serve. In ball. Anthony. Yeah. Spike. He came in late in the first set. Yeah, he substituted Boon Hui. Now Lorna is serving. Living. With a soft chip. Get it over. Oh, too close to the net this time. The point goes to Cat High. Field. Who already won the first set 11 7. Yep. Yeah, slight lead in the second. Liming. Rope shot. Brunon. Uh, I think Liming. Yeah. Uh, the referee called the double contact on that. That's right. So. Go that to sir. Great pass. CHS coming back strongly in this one. We apologize for the slight uh, mix up in the scores two, three minutes ago. It's actually Catholic High doing well in this second set. Power fight. One more. Oh, denied this time. He went to the well too many times. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, number six, Anthony, with a good block mm -hmm. for CHS. Uh, there's a substitution, the number 14 for Edgefield is off for Dylan T. Yeah. Number 14 has come on for Dylan T. I beg your pardon. Li Ming got the, the point. And gets the point. I said it earlier and I'll say it again. Li Ming should have played earlier. <laughs> the, I think you will agree. I would agree. Yeah. 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 Oh, 
this seems like it's going to be headed to the rubber set. Mm -hmm. Checking for the server. And it's Anthony to serve. Leaning. Wins yeah. the point. 5-9. In case you've just joined us, uh, Catholic High have already won this fixture, so they are the B Division ch champions in the North, the Kings of the North. Wow, a great defense. Reference there to all the fans of Game of Thrones. I apologize, I don't watch Game of Thrones, I didn't get it. <laughs> the Kings of the North. Because they won the first two sub teams, 11 7. 11-3 in the first sub-team and 11-8, 11-7, second sub-team. Leeming! Oh, that was a good save! Kevin. Yep, indeed, it was Kevin. It is set point for CHS. By Anthony. Yep. And uh, that's it, 11 6. So, Catholic High School uh, winning the second set. A few words about the performance of CHS. Um, CHS, well, they've been capitalizing on their attack, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, they haven't been giving it up. And they've been having a few smart plays here and there. Yeah, tipping the balls here, there. Yeah. And definitely the blocks. One, uh, the blocks by Anthony Joshua. Uh, Anthony, not Anthony Joshua. Yeah. All right. We are waiting for the third and final set in this third sub team. We'll be back in uh, 60 seconds. And we are back for the third and final set in the third sub team. About to serve is uh, CHS. Ooh, that was, oh, that was a good block. That's the first time I think uh, I see this match where an, a, a spike by Leeming is actually blocked on the, <laughs> on the at the net. So Anthony has really stepped up and mm -hmm. he's looking at Leeming in <laughs> face. <laughs> he looks about to laugh. Uh, here we go. Uh, this time uh, Leeming got the better of him. Yeah. Leeming was like, not this time. Yeah, he went, he, he went for the... He put the ball on the left. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah, on his left. Anthony. Kaden got it up. Oh. Got a block. Good. And he does. Great block by Li Ming. I think he's clearly in the D yeah. man in this mm -hmm. for both teams. This entire picture. Anthony, good play oh, by. Great pick up by Dylan. 
And they get it over into the ball simply. Yeah. Ooh, smart That's, shot. And he was, he was hesit hesitant for a second. He yeah. wasn't sure whether the was, point was counted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he got it in the yeah, end. Yeah, he had to look at the umpire see. <laughs> Sometimes it's not just about the power, it's about the brain. Yeah, too. I don't know whether you gave him a, a stare or... <laughs> <laughs> CHS. Winning that point. Anthony is serving. For the cat high boys. E ball. Didn't misjudge that and thought it was out. Feelers trying to win some pride in this uh, <laughs> gold medal match, oh. salvage something because they are already they've already finished second yep. uh, in 2021, but they don't want to end up on the on the end of a three nil sweep. Yeah, indeed. Check for the service rotation. Leaving mm -hmm. again with the block. I wonder how many times you mentioned his name <laughs> in this. Uh, yeah. It's the midpoint of uh, the third set, mm -hmm. which means both teams have to switch sides. Yep. Because the teams are playing to 11 points. Only two points separating the teams. This break in the momentum, we'll see whether it works for the midfielders or in favor of CHS. Dylan is serving for each fielders. Touch out. Came off uh, leaving. Yep. Great One play by Kevin. One point game. If CHS win that one more point, then you know the the, mo the switching sides did affect oh, the yeah. momentum. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, he went Ooh. for the soft touch. Oh. Yeah. Smart. He knew that they were waiting for a heavy spike. That's right. Yeah. Kaden is serving. Oh. Oh. Well, Anthony said 
I can do it too. Yeah, that's right. yeah. This is neck and neck. Mm -hmm. It's either Catholic High School go back 3 0 mm. or 2 1. I think HP will feel happy if they win at least uh, yeah. one sub team. Kevin <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> couldn't get it in time, but he made the effort. Yep. All right, and now Dylan goes to serve for the HP. Right, Two more points for the win. Yep. Roll shot, and it goes in. Oh, the eight fielders thought it was out. And that's match point. Yep. I'm not sure how many points the number five from <laughs> Hfield Leeming has chopped yeah. up in this entire match, but he clearly is the man of the match. Yep. I think you would agree. Definitely. Anthony, go. Oh, oh denied. Is it in? It's yep, in. It's in. It's in. No. It, it, yeah, it's, it's in. It's in. It's in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Hfield has won this so sub team game. Congratulations. Hfield secondary, mm -hmm. they won the first set 11-7, they lost the second set 6-11, they came back and they won this one 11-8, yeah. so they have prevented a clean sweep 3-0, so at least they take home this one sub-team victory, so the final score as you see on screen is 2-1 uh, for this particular uh, sub-team, so overall of course uh, they win mm -hmm. by the same, yeah. same scoreline as well, 2-1. So you're so looking back at the whole match uh, between Catholic High School and Hfield Secondary, the first sub team. Mm -hmm. um, it, it went to it was a straight sets win, 11-7, yeah. 11-3. Uh, what do you reckon of the first set? And who was your? I think your pick was uh, Joken from Catholic yeah, High. Yeah, I think it was Joken. Yeah, he was the man of that match. Mm. Yeah. And uh, and then we came to come to the second one. Mm -hmm. It was 11-8. 11-7 yeah. and definitely Peter Wong is the man of that match yes uh, yeah. he was unstoppable he the dominated yeah and then when we go to the third one uh, it was 11-7 to Hfield and then they lost 6-11 as we said and they came 11-8 mm -hmm. and your pick for the player of the match <laughs> <laughs> no, no. shall we announce it together <laughs> yeah. so one two three Leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely great effort from both teams. So we are just about one minute to go before surprise presentation for B Division title. Because these teams have been training for at least a year. But they probably might have been training for the six V six format, I think. I'm mm, not sure no, when. I'm not sure whether they could. Oh, they do couldn't. It? They couldn't. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Due to the, mm. due to the first, it was five. You can only train with five yeah. people. So how do you train with five people? <laughs> so what, yeah. two v two. Well, for the national team, we did a lot of drills. Like only five people drills. So like the whole year that, of last year, we were just doing drills because we couldn't do any gameplay. Correct. Yeah. So it probably was just maybe a few months ago they mm. were announced that okay we are going to modify from the six version yeah. to the three version and you. You know, this means the three players on court have to play all the roles, yeah, exactly. the different roles. Yeah, have to take on a lot, a lot more responsibility. That's right. So the the prior presentation during the NSG 2021 is slightly different. It's only the captain mm -hmm. and one representative will come up. In this case, for Hfield Secondary, it's uh, Ming Jun, the number one, and Xavier Pei. Yeah, number two. So the collect the trophy and <laughs> they were giving a peace sign yep. you and thumbs up <laughs> also take the, the medals mm -hmm. you can tell that they are very happy with their results technically they didn't go away empty handed yep. they did pick up the third sub team so mm -hmm. it wasn't a complete blowout 
Good play by the H fielders. B division, North Zone, runners up. And Catholic High School. Champions of 2021, North Zone. Number seven is uh, Shazwan. No, I think it's oh, Joshua Lim. Yeah, I beg your pardon, that's right. Yeah. And number nine is Peter Wong. <laughs> Our favorite Peter Wong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Here we go. <laughs> there was a cheer. So, congratulations once again uh, to both teams Catholic High Champions, Edgefield Secondary, the runner up. Uh, Rachel Lau, today is your first day that you joined us at the mm -hmm. NSG as a color commentator. Uh -huh. So, how would you sum up your experience? Uh, it's definitely an eye-opening experience. I've never commented before, but I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the volleyball, you can tell there's a lot of potential for the future. Yeah. So now uh, the volleyball team in Singapore is, um, well, we should get ready to see a lot of new faces coming out in the national team as well. All right. There's the voice of Rachel Lau, eight years with Singapore's <laughs> current national indoor volleyball squad. Yeah. Uh, we hope she will be competing if the SEA Games allows it in Vietnam. Uh, let's hope that's in uh, November, December. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. our coverage of the National School Games continues. Go and check out the website, go.gov.sg slash NSG. That's go.gov.sg slash NSG. Go on to that particular website. As you can see it on screen right now, uh, you will find the live streaming schedules of, uh, for, over, for the next three or four weeks of the remaining sports in Takra, in badminton, volleyball is still not over yet, mm -hmm. uh, tennis, um, and table tennis as well. The five sports. These five sports are the only ones out of the 12 that can be uh, live streaming this year. And so plenty more for the 2021 National School Games still coming up on Sports Singapore's live coverage of NSG. Mm -hmm. Rachel, thank you very much. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm Rajkumar signing off. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.